Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video on CSS properties. Now let's start in today's video with the margins available in CSS. When we talk about the margin, what do you mean by margin? So margins are certain boundaries that can be set whenever you are writing certain content in your pages or when you are doing certain animation or when you are creating certain design for your desktop. So the margins can be done in certain ways. First you have margin property, second you have margin top, margin bottom, margin right, margin left. When you are going to use margin left, you are going to get a certain boundaries towards your left side. When you are going to add margin right, you are going to get certain boundary limit towards your right side. When you are going to set for the bottom, you are going to get it for the bottom and when you are going to set it for the top, you are going to get it for the top. And now you have another property that is called just called as a margin, which is which can be denoted all the side where you can write the properties for the right, left, top and bottom. So let us see these margin properties in our Visual Studio Code. All right. So first of all, we need our HTML basic template. We have our HTML basic template. With that, we need to link our CSS because everything we are going to style in the CSS. Now, I'll be writing a paragraph over here, a paragraph of lorem epsilon. And for this paragraph, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take P and here I'll just apply a border. I'll take P and I'll apply certain border for this border, two pixels, solid, red. Now we can see that there is a certain border applied for this. Now for this paragraph, let us add certain margin and check. Margin top, I'm going to give it as 50 pixels. Save this. Now we can see that there is certain margin set for this. Now next, I'm going to use the same thing for margin bottom. I'll be giving it as 15 pixels and there is nothing here in the bottom. You can you cannot see the margin that has been added. If you want to check the margin that will be added at the bottom, let us add another paragraph tag here. Let's copy, paste it back. Now we can see that there is certain difference because this is again 50 from the top. Now, if you want the margin bottom to be another 15 pixels, it is already 50 here, so the 15 is vanished. Now let us see 150 pixels. Now we can see that the bottom is being left for 150 and again the top for this will be left in 50. So this is 150 pixels of bottom mar margin bottom you have. Then you have margin left. For this margin left, I'm just going to add as a 15 percent. So you have it. And towards right, margin right, let us check your margin right, I'll give a 2%. So now we can see that 2% of margin is being left out. So this is how you can use the margin properties separately for top, bottom, left and right. Now let us see how to add the margin properties in the single frame. So you just have the margin property. For this margin property, whenever I'm going to give 50 pixels, now we can see all the sites is being acquired with 50, 50 pixels. 50 for the top, 50 right, 50 bottom and 50 left. So now, whenever I'm going to give two, two values here, that is one is 50 pixels, another one is 15 pixels. Now we can see 50 pixels will be added for the top and the bottom and 15 pixels will be added for the left and the right. For this 15 pixel itself, I also want a 2%. Now we can see that for the top, it is 50 pixels. For the bottom, it will be 15 pixels. And 2 pixels will be for the left and the right. 50 pixels will be for the top. 15 pixels will be for the right and the left. And 2 pixels will be for the bottom. Now again, if I'm going to add certain 10 percent. Now we can see here, this is top and this is right. This is bottom and this is left. So this is how it is going to arrange itself whenever you're going to ask for it. Ask for the margin properties. So this was all about margin properties. Now let us see about the padding properties. Now, just like the margin properties, this was the margin property was applied outside that particular paragraph. Now, what is the padding property? Padding property is a property which is going to be applied inside that particular paragraph or inside that particular tag. 
for example you have again you have padding top you have padding you have padding bottom padding right and padding left you can add a padding to any of the tags so let us see this as well in the visual studio so you have margin over here for the same paragraph itself i'm going to give the padding property now you can see 15 percent when i'm going to give 15 percent all the sides will be applied with 15 percent of gap once when i'm going to give a 2 percent now you can see 2 percent towards right and left and 15 15 pixels to top and the bottom each again when i'm going to give a 50 pixels now you can see 50 pixels is for the bottom 2 pixels is for the right and the left and 15% is for the top again in the same way if i'm going to give 10 pixels again now you can see okay let me give it as 35 pixels so that you will understand it properly so 15% will be for the top 2% will be for the right 50 pixels will be for the bottom 120 pixels will be for the top i mean towards the left so this is how the arranging is been done if you are not going to understand it like this then you can separately give the values that is padding top padding left padding right and other things like that so this is all about the margin and the padding properties of css with some other content of css we're going to meet you again in the next video till then keep learning and stay tuned bye bye